All right, Tyler Small with the uh, big pin tonight for Kent State. You guys uh, look like you guys started out of the gate a little sluggish. Uh, Nick gets beat, Stevie gets pinned, but you come back and you kind of bring the team back into it. Um, what was the mentality going out there into, into 141? Uh, just going out there like every home match. I love, uh, there's a lot of people here, big environment. Uh, I, know, I just like the hype, getting ready for big matches, home matches like this. Uh, just going out, pushing the pace. I felt real good, best of probably felt all year. Just pushing the pace and ended up with a cradle again at the end. Okay, you got, you uh, have a, won the body bar and you were sixth last week in a, the craziest weight class I've seen in a while. You had a loss to Steber, Navachkov, and I don't know who you lost to for fifth and sixth. That's it, why I lost it, it for fifth. You lost, you lost the, the, the returning national runner-up, two-time All-American, and uh, Suflon beat you in the yeah, county semi. Fun. So a crazy weight class. Yeah. What do you take uh, from an experience like that, being in a weight class so so competitive like that? Um, it was great to go out there and just wrestle some of the top guys in the country. I mean, it was a tough weight class. I got started off good in the tournament. I was 3-0 the first day. Came back and lost three straight. But I don't know. I just got to keep my head up. It was a tough bracket. And I'm uh, going to come back. I have Steve Brewer on Sunday. So hopefully I can capitalize from that loss on Sunday. How uh, good does it feel to know that, you know, you can get redemption in eight days? You know, from the loss to him to eight days. Yeah, well, right after that match I lost, I was like, the first thing that went to my head is like, we got Ohio State next Sunday. I got him again. So I, I didn't keep my head down too long. I knew I can beat him. I'm right there in the match. Just little things I got to cap on. Did you think that the, the win over Bonson kind of made you believe that you're a top 10 guy? Uh, yeah, I guess you could say that. There's a lot of things this year. I mean, moving up, I'm feeling a lot stronger than last year. Uh, just uh, competing with these guys, I guess, yeah, Bonson, it's a big win for me. So winning over these top guys is definitely a confidence booster and has uh, I have a lot more faith now in what I do. What did Coach Andersy just tell you guys? <laughs> oh, a bunch of stuff. Uh, I don't know, we just have a long season. We have probably one of the toughest schedules uh, of any team in the country. We have Missouri now, Ohio State Sunday, but we just got to keep our heads up. Our main thing is we just need everyone to be more consistent on the same day. We have like our top guys just losing, like we had Nick lost, Ian lost, we had Barley lost. Like there are bigger guys on our team, one of our better guys, that were lost. We just gotta have everyone on the same page on the same day and we're definitely up there, top ten in the country. Alright, you got anything else for me? Oh, that's it. Alright, hey, thanks for the time. Good luck, nice pen today. Thanks.